<laughs> my heart belongs to Riley because they saved my life. I love Riley because they care about each individual patient. Without Riley, I wouldn't be able to play with my dog Oreo. Because of Riley, I can do cheerleading. I love Riley because they help me be like me. My heart belongs to Riley because my doctors have helped me overcome and cope with my Tourette syndrome. I love Riley because they saved my life. I love Riley because all the nurses and doctors are super kind and they know what you're going through. Because of Riley, I can play tennis and run and jump on my trampoline. Thank you so much to Riley donors. I thank you so much. Thank you so much to Riley donors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tuesday. It is one of the biggest days of the year for Riley kids like me. Please make a gift at RileyGivingTuesday.org. She was referred to Riley after suffering with severe intestinal issues. After running several tests, Brielle was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, a rare type of cancer. Her doctor scheduled her for surgery where they were able to remove the entire mass. Today, because of Riley, Brielle gets to join the cheer squad ride a scooter, and just be a kid. Kids like Brielle count on Riley, and Riley counts on you. Donate today at RileyKids.org. As the epitome of health, couldn't find anyone healthier <laughs> until he wasn't. We came in at 5.30 in the morning to swim. He was right on pace the whole time. Best I'd ever seen him practice. And at the end of practice, he didn't have the strength to pull himself out of the water. He started convulsing, his legs started shaking. It was like Mike Tyson just hit me in the torso. They were like, you know, it's not looking too good. I'm gonna have to take you to the hospital. I remember seeing like the hospital doors open and that's about it. I received a call from the doctor. He said, you need to get in here right away. Your boy is very sick. As I entered the room, he was trying to pull his oxygen mask off. And he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And his heart stopped. And eventually they came in and said, if they could put him on ECMO life support, which was his only chance at survival, they could transport him to Riley Hospital where he would stand a chance. No one had ever been transported into Riley Hospital on ECMO. He was on the maximal amount of life support a person can be on. Dr. Lutfi, his idea to get Zane on the ECMO machine so that he could get just enough blood flow to his body, to his organs to survive, transporting from Evansville to Riley Hospital was really the key to all of this. His situation was unique and we have to establish all this new pathway for us to place someone on ECMO uh, three hours away from Riley and able to transport them here. Dr. Lutfi stood at the foot of his bed and said, Oh, Mr. Zane, you might have just opened the door for many children around the state. We were able to restore the heart function when we found the cardiac lesion by our uh, cardiology group. For patients like Zane, we have the best of all the teams, and they really help our patients feel comfortable in the hospital, which is important for their recovery. With my story, I can get better research and like funding for ECMO and ECMO transport, especially with uh, kids. That's what saved my life. Zane's story uh, really emphasized how important to push more and more in pediatric research. We do not have a transport ECMO program for pediatrics. I think Zane. Uh, paved the way for us to talk more and more about it. Zane, you're one of the most incredible young men I've met. Uh, I know at your age or my age now, sorry, that uh, there's no way I would have been able to handle what you handled, what you got through. It's pretty amazing. It takes donors like you for them to be able to continue to provide this for other children. I would not have my son today if it weren't for Riley Hospital.
triple the impact of your Giving Tuesday donations by donating to Riley Kids. Thank you to the Indianapolis Colts for matching today's donations. Visit RileyKids.org to triple the impact of your gift today. <laughs> Hi, we are the Villafana family and Riley helps me and my daughter whenever she's sick, whenever she falls sick as in need of medical attention. Riley has been great to us. The staff at Riley, they are very kind and nurturing. Whenever she goes there, I have a peace of mind knowing that she is comfortable and that she feels safe because Riley staff is always on point. Your donation to Riley helps support families like mine. Donate to RileyKids.org and your donation will be matched by the Indianapolis Cults. Thank you. Rowan. He was born three months early, weighing just over one pound. After being diagnosed with a life-threatening intestinal disease, he was flown to Riley, where they removed 71 centimeters of his intestine. Today, because of Riley, Rowan gets to garden with mom, run outside with dad, and just be a kid. Kids like Rowan count on Riley, and Riley counts on you. Donate today at RileyKids.org. Supporting Camp Riley. Because of support like yours, kids like me get a chance to have fun at various camps throughout the summer. Thank you so much for making that possible. Sweet, sweet.
Triple the impact of your Giving Tuesday donation by donating to Riley Kids. Thank you to Earthwave Technologies and the Indianapolis Colts for matching today's donations. Visit RileyKids.org to triple the impact of your gift today. He was born at 22 weeks and six days gestation, weighing just one pound, one ounce. For three and a half months, Riley Hospital's nationally recognized NICU team cared for him until he was strong enough to go home. Today, because of Riley, Kyle gets to play baseball, run outside, and just be a kid. Kids like Kyle count on Riley, and Riley counts on you. Donate today and double your impact at RileyKids.org. Now we have the opportunity to chat with one of our wonderful Riley kids, Kalina, and her mom, Jesma. They're joining us from Gary, Indiana. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having us today. We are so happy to be here. It's great to have you with us. First off, mom, can you tell us what is it that brought you to Riley Children's Health in the first place? Well, Kalina was born with sickle cell LC disease, um, and over the years, she actually progressed asthma, and now last year, she actually has a history of acute chest syndrome. But the care that Riley Hospital has given her over these eight years has just been amazing. And can you tell us a little bit about Kalina's caregivers at Riley and what they mean to you, Jasmine? Well, her caregivers means the world. Dr. Sita Jacobs and Dr. Evans Machogu has really, really helped Kalina, not only with her health, but also with her emotions. Um, they have given us plenty of resources, educational, and also has introduced us to one of their therapists, Dr. Lamonte. Um, they, each time that we go, they allow Kalina to pick a new book. They inform Kalina of what's going on with her body and the growth, and even either some conditions that may be forming, but they are just amazing overall. Now, Kalina, you've spent plenty of quality time at Riley. What do yeah. your doctors and nurses mean to you? They mean the whole entire world, and if I'd never met them, I'd know what I would do. Kalina, can you please share with the audience, what are some of your favorite things to do? Uh, I love to read books. I love to play Roblox. I love to play outside, and I love to give hugs. And I love my dog, Oreo. Oreo, Oreo, your dog. All right, that's a great name. And I know we've seen pictures in the past of Oreo, and he's a great little dog. Jesma, what advice do you have for families going through a similar diagnosis or situation? Well, for the families taking care of their little ones, I really recommend you all to constantly be kept informed and to also create a very sturdy, strong support system. Support system is very important because as it can be trying for the child, it can also be trying for the, the caregivers because it is very strenuous. You can become very emotional watching your child go through different stages and different treatments. Um, you also want to stay strong for them, but before you can stay strong for them, you have to stay strong for yourself. So having a very strong support system is key. The focus of our program at Riley is to provide comprehensive and convenient care for our families as best as we possibly can. Our families experience a lot of barriers when trying to access care. So tell me how things have been going since I saw you last. It's been wonderful. Yeah? Yes. So Kalina came to us um, soon after she was diagnosed with sickle cell disease as a newborn um, and has been a part of our um, sickle cell program ever since. I would hope that people will realize that sickle cell disease is indeed a chronic illness, and I don't think that people remember that often. I will say that I often compare sickle cell disease to that of diabetes, where it's an illness in which you know you live with forever, but you don't see it in someone. You don't look at someone and say, oh, you have diabetes. The same goes for someone that has sickle cell disease. Just because they are normal and look normal, um, you don't understand all of what they're going through in their life. <laughs> 
Kalina and her mom are a perfect example of um, a family that travels three plus hours in one direction to come see us. And that's a significant burden on a family. And having support from donors to help our families access us is incredibly important. She is living with a disease that um, can often lead to a lot of limitations. And so being able to see kids like Kalina and others continue to forge ahead and live these rich and fulfilling lives is definitely an inspiration to our team. And I think we're grateful that we're able to help them in that journey. belongs to Wiley because they love me and take care of me. Please give today at wileykids.org. Hi, we're the Osmond family. Riley was there for me when my child battled leukemia for eight years. Your gift supports Riley kids like mine. Donate today at rileykids.org and your gift will be matched by the Indianapolis Colts. Bubby. Yes, I love giving. We have a one team culture here at Riley and part of that is how that we can contribute to the Riley Children's Foundation that gives right back to the children of Indiana and to our team members. It's so important and I'm so excited to be part of the campaign moving forward this year. This will help further our mission and be able to provide first class care to the children of Indiana all throughout the hospital through multiple subspecialties and multiple disciplines including nursing which we're so thankful for. Well, there's multiple ways that the funding helps us. It can be with different supports at the unit level. It can be through specific programmatic funding. So nursing is at the table and is able to help with decision making on where some of the funds can go, where it's most needed to support our patients and our team members. This is Jason, and because of Riley, I can play basketball anytime I want. Plus, your donations help make this possible, so please consider giving today at RileyKids.org. Hi, we're the, Riley, we're the Brady family, and this is my daughter, Chloe. Chloe's Riley journey started at four years of age when she was diagnosed with petite mal seizures, and she has to see a neurologist twice a year to help keep her condition under control. Your donations help Riley Kids Like Mine. So head over to Riley.org and your donation will be matched by the Indianapolis Colts. Go Colts! As a baby, Riley doctors diagnosed him with a rare genetic syndrome. Years later, the disease formed uncomfortable growths on his body and his liver began to fail. After months on the donor list, Eli received a life-changing liver transplant. Today, because of Riley, Eli gets to ride his bike, catch a football, and just be a kid. Kids like Eli count on Riley, and Riley counts on you. Donate today at RileyKids.org. My name is Addison, and because of Riley, I can do cheerleading. Your donations help make this possible. Please consider giving today at RileyKids.org. H-E-L-L-O, my name's Addison, I say hello. We're fired up and sizzling, we're turning up the heat, cause when it comes to healthcare, Riley can't be beat. Y-E-L-L, everybody yell, thank you, Riley. Over 90 years of hope and light, Riley shines its rays of sunlight and hope. Oh, there's so much hope. Ride in the red wagon, don't be afraid. With your help, we 
can't have hope When we're riding in the red wagon Me was painted by kids, painted with love Painted with stories on the walls They share the hope that the building brings She was born with a severe heart defect and admitted to the neonatal intensive care unit at Riley Hospital for Children. Throughout her young life, doctors at Riley have performed three surgeries. Today, because of Riley, Kennedy gets to play with her sister, learn to dance, and just be a kid. Kids like Kennedy count on Riley, and Riley counts on you. Donate today and double your impact at RileyKids.org. My sister beat cancer two times. They brought her sparkle back. Triple the impact of your Giving Tuesday donation by donating to Riley Kids. Thank you to Earthwave Technologies and the Indianapolis Colts for matching today's donations. Visit Riley.org yeah. to triple the impact of your gift today. She's doing great. She had open heart surgery in August of 2020, and ever since then she's doing fantastic. When we got her Down syndrome and heart diagnosis, we started working with Riley before she was even born. Um, at one point we sat down with three doctors and they put together um, a delivery plan uh, that included a full NICU team in the room at birth. She's just been thriving ever since. We want everyone to realize how amazing Riley is and also to help keep the programs going. She's really just the light of our life and so uh, that's what we're really looking forward to is kind of sharing her smile with the world and um, hopefully putting on a new face for Down syndrome. It definitely was not a, a sure thing that we were going to oh. end the pregnancy with a baby and we were just so grateful. are as diverse as my patients. Each day is so different. One moment I might be working with a mom writing a lullaby for her baby. One day I might be working with a, a toddler and helping them stay calm during her procedure. Just really meeting the patient and the family where they're at and assessing how music can help them. We utilize everything from instrument playing to songwriting, um, 
voice recording to matching how a patient feels with the music to help them relax. If baby's fussy, we can use music to um, help calm and soothe baby. And so being able to teach parents how to use music to help soothe their baby um, helps give them that um, strength and that power to use music in their everyday life. On the, the child, it, uh, it helps them to be more relaxed and calm, which helps them to focus on healing. It's, it's not normal to be sick in a, in a hospital, and when we can help them be a kid again by being able to play and sing and express themselves and sometimes be silly um, can be really healing. It's just amazing how music can affect the body and the mind and emotions and the positive outcomes that we can have because of that. Donations can help anywhere from providing time with a music therapist to providing resources like instruments or music education for patients to be able to use music here and at home. Music can be a coping tool to get through hard things and so being able to walk with families through that in creating music together as a family brings me a lot of joy. Yes, I a Riley kid. I love Riley because my doctors have helped me overcome and cope with my Tourette syndrome. So I feel like we've talked and talked about this. I'm excited to do it. I've been an art therapist for a little over five years and I've been at Riley almost a year now. As a child I was naturally drawn to using art as a way to understand myself and to understand the world around me. As I grew up I heard about art therapy and I became so fascinated with understanding the science and learning about how art impacts the brain. We work to break up some of the medical procedures and find joy and find things to look forward to and to help make their hospital stay the best that it can be. She's been a great help to us, so it's all, it's more than just art with us. It keeps his mind off of everything. That's one thing I love. And she has spirit is awesome. So it keeps him definitely going. So I love it. When we meet with a patient, we have conversations about what they need and what they want. And so part of my job is being really flexible and meeting people where they are and finding a way to use creativity to support mental health. We are licensed mental health counselors and we provide mental health treatment and support to patients and their families. We're also the only team here at Riley that can give mental health treatment and support to caregivers. So I think that's a huge piece. Nobody's at the hospital for fun and any way we can provide support to patients and families is vital to their overall well-being. Support from donors allows people like myself to support patients. Without the support from donors, we would not be able to support patients and their families while they're going through their, the, mo the most difficult times in their lives. And when we're able to find good in difficult times, it makes everything a little more bearable. So if I can help patients and their families find that, I um, feel like I'm doing my job well. My name is Ashay, and I was born with sickle cell type SS. Riley has always been there for me whenever I fall sick or, or, I'm, need, or I'm in need of care. Riley is a home away from home for me. What I mean by that is the doctors and nurses at Riley, they're caring and they make you feel safe. Your donation supports Riley Kids like me. Donate today at RileyKids.org. 
and your donation will be matched with the Indianapolis Colts. Donate to Riley. Thank you. Early. As a teenager, he was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of leukemia. He received a stem cell transplant at Riley Hospital, the only place in Indiana where children can receive this treatment. Today, because of Riley, Charlie gets to compete in tennis, play a round of golf, and just be a teenager. Kids like Charlie count on Riley, and Riley counts on you. Donate today and double your impact at RileyKids.org. That's one of you understand that children are the future. At one point, we were children, and somebody had to invest in us. If we were to take a step back and look at the needs of our children today, it is in the area of their mental health. My name is Dr. Russell Lede, and I am a triple board resident, meaning that I train in pediatrics, adult psychiatry, and child and adolescent psychiatry. Kids are committing suicide at rates that we've never seen before. We have got to take this seriously there's still a huge leap that we have to make with regards to mental health diagnoses and just our overall general perception of mental health disorders. I think there's still this huge stigma that really hinders the conversation being furthered and it also hinders patients from wanting to come and seek care because they're worried about somebody quote unquote calling them crazy as opposed to thinking about it as an illness, a true illness. I want kids ha to have accessibility to child psychiatrists specifically in the state of Indiana. Um, I think we have very abysmal numbers right now with regards to child psychiatrists within the state and even pediatricians who are trained mildly in the area of mental health. You making a donation to this campaign is you saying that the mental health of children is important and it's especially important to Hoosier kids. The leadership here is sound and it is proven and that's why Riley Children's Hospital and specifically our mental health resources are the best place for us to be children.
In the state of Indiana, one in seven children have contemplated suicide in the last six months. Tonight, I really fought the urge to cut myself. Our youth suicide rate has been higher than the national average since 1999. It's like I've lost control. The suicide rate has increased and our treatments have gotten better. And so it just doesn't make sense. Would it be easier for them if I wasn't here anymore? He had expressed thoughts of suicide. It was scary. We didn't recognize him. And I went multiple times to his counselor saying, hey, I don't know how to help my son. I don't know what to do. Safety maybe has more influence than we might think. You rely upon the system to provide you with clinicians that have the skills. Are we monitoring that? Are we tracking that? Do we know how we're doing? Really good friends had a daughter die by suicide. They reached out to me like, OK, what can we do? What does the mayor do? With the pandemic, we saw chaos, we saw sadness, but most importantly, we saw death. This mental health crisis to me is no different. We have to realize that we're at a point where we need to do something different. Parents, community, corporations, everybody wants to try and help us solve child health problems. And so I'm very optimistic that together as a community, we can make a big impact on pediatric mental and behavioral health. I'm 100% sure that this doesn't have to happen again to anybody. People in crisis no longer can wait for our convenience. Care. As many know, there has been so much demand for therapy and for psychiatric care um, and for ongoing care that when we try to seek those resources out, often there isn't anywhere for parents and children to go. My name is Dr. Sarah Boslett. I'm a general pediatrician at Riley Children's Health. When a family comes to us with mental health care concerns, it's, it, it can be very difficult when we don't have a simple plan for them to follow and immediate um, answers. There is so much more mental health concern among families and teenagers. Um, it comes up all the time in my practice. Um, I see it so much more than I used to in the past. Through COVID, we've had a lot of teenagers and parents who've struggled to get their children to return to the classroom. Um, and even now, we're seeing a lot of anxiety and a lot of difficulty in connecting at school and in integrating into their classroom and into friendships. Um, as a donor, I'd like you to imagine, and many of you may have experienced this, um, that you bring your child in because um, they've said something that scares you, or they've stopped wanting to participate in activities, or um, uh, they're not sleeping well. And so when you come to me as the pediatrician and you're looking for help, um, imagine what you want next. Um, and what I would want is to be able to say to you, here, here are the resources. I've got someone I can connect you with right now who can give you um, the information that you need and the help that you need. So what we do today in terms of teaching and providing supports for our kids and teenagers and their families will directly impact the health of Indiana in the future. Hi, I'm Gil Perry. I'm the president of Riley Children's Health. So Riley Children's Health benefits tremendously from the generous donations of our community. We know that we can do more together as a community. Our ability to improve our access to Riley Children's expertise and enable all the kids in Indiana and beyond to benefit from all of the dedicated experts who dedicated their life to children's health. We have opportunities to continue to improve and identify ways that we can discover new research mechanisms, new protocols, new ways of delivering care that we have not yet thought of. Here at Riley Children's Health, we write the book. Not only do we read the book, but we write the book in understanding what it's gonna take for us to do even more to care for kids in the future. We also know that unfortunately, many kids are suffering from behavioral health conditions that are becoming more and more pervasive in our community. Riley Children's is always known for the medical and surgical conditions that we treat and we're also uh, the state's resource for behavioral health conditions, bringing in professionals who are dedicated to improving the mental health of our patients and families. The state of Indiana does not fare well for pediatric mental health metrics. 22% of girls in high school have contemplated suicide in the last year. 12% of boys in high school have made a plan for suicide in the last year. 
So almost one in four girls in high school and one in 10 boys have contemplated a plan to take their life. We can do better as a state. We know that our kids need a different level of support. With your generous donations, the expertise at Riley Children's and throughout the state of Indiana, together we can do better for our kids. Giving Tuesday is such an opportunity for the state of Indiana and all of our supporters to really prioritize kids. Our Riley Children's team is why we're different. We have amazing facilities and technology, but our team is what brings it to life. Keep an eye out for our team engaging with each other as we support one another in caring for our patients and families. Riley Children's is Indiana's Children's Hospital. Thank you again for engaging with Riley Children's Health. Thanks to Riley because they took my story of trauma and turned it into a story of resilience. Please give to Riley today at RileyKids.org. Oh, I've been through enough and I wanted to stop, but the pain keeps coming, the darkness rising. Oh, I can't look up. And I don't know what to do or how to deal with everything. Then you say my name. You say I'm okay. Cause I'm a survivor. And I've survived through the pain. All because you were there. You saved me, now I'm through the agony, oh I'm a survivor. Ooh. I say I'm done with the pain, I'm done taking the blame, need the punches to stop coming. Oh, the blows to stop hurting, then you say my name, you say I'm okay, cause I'm a survivor, and I've survived through the pain, all because you were there, Lord, you say. Thank you. 